In this video, I am going to give you the keys to the castle on feeding old birds for short distance racing. Now, if you master feeding, you will master racing. I'm going to eliminate some of the myths and hopefully completely change your thought process on feeding. Um, many around the globe have followed my system with amazing results. Everything I do here is with feeding. It doesn't matter how I train the birds, how much they've raced. If the body weight is perfect, I have amazing success. So let's get into that. So getting back to body weight of the pigeon. If you can get the body weight perfect, the birds fly to the top. I know when at shipping on a race, I know the night before how great the success will be. So you have to think about it. You have to have the birds light. You have to have them buoyant, never round. My birds, the muscles lay almost flat, V-shaped, corky, strong, super buoyant, no extra weight. If you're shipping round pigeons to the races, pigeons with any kind of meat on them, they're too heavy, doesn't matter what the distance of the race. You just have to get rid of that mindset. I've talked about before, you wanna handle a pigeon after it flies maybe five hours, that's how it should have gone to the race. So keep in that mind, uh, if you follow my feeding program, your results will go up, the pigeons will fly better, they'll fly faster. If they're not carrying extra weight, they can maintain greater speeds over longer distances, whether it's two hours, four hours, six, seven hours. This video is gonna talk about getting pigeons ready to fly up to seven hours on the So way. keep in mind, your competitors are shipping their birds too heavy to the races. You probably are too. If 90% uh, of the birds are too heavy, a fat pigeon is gonna win the race, most likely. That's just the way it is. If you start shipping pigeons with perfect body weight, you're going to dominate. Um, it'll be like a light will go off and all of a sudden racing will become easy. So for starters, uh, for the last 50 years, everybody talked about feeding on the curve, light to heavy. Well, if you feed light to heavy, your birds are gonna go to the races heavy. I want you to feed light. I want you to feed light six days per week, including the day of shipping. And when I say light, I feed probably an 80% barley mix. At the end of the video, I'll show my mixes in the um, photos so you can see exactly what it looks like. But for short distance racing, under seven hours on the wing, I feed light. I feed light all week, six days. On the day of return, I feed heavy. The most important meal a pigeon has after a workout is the first meal. So when they come home from the race, for that one day to that evening, they get all the champion mix, the energy mix, uh, small seeds, rich, high fat seeds. I want them to recover. I want them to replenish. The next day, the following day, which is a Sunday for me, they go right back onto the barley mix, which is probably 80% barley. And again, they eat that all week, including the day of shipping. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. You still have to limit the feed. I feed my birds, I would say, they clean it up pretty quick, both hens and cocks. I fly celibate cocks, I fly celibate hens. Uh, you can see the feed in the crop, it's never big and full. It's just kind of a, an amount, you can see it. I'm gonna show some, uh, I'll take some videos of my feeding this old bird season so you can see what it looks like when my pigeons actually eat during eating and how much grain they get. So they never overfed. Now, I don't work the birds very hard. So with my feeding system, a race, uh, a training toss on Tuesday, maybe 35, 40 minutes, a 50 mile training toss on Thursday, and then they race against, again on Saturday is all they need. If you feed like me, you can race and train like me. Most, much of what I do is because of limited time. I wanna have major success with limited time. So let's look at the feeding. So let's continue and look at the feeding. Uh, most grain dealers put out a schedule. They want you to feed something on Monday, something on Tuesday, this is what you feed Wednesday, Thursday, Friday it's something else, Saturday is something else. Well, they're in the grain business. 
I'm letting you know you need to find a good high quality barley, an in the husk, plump high quality barley. If you have that, you're golden. If you took the barley and mixed it with a 16% protein breeder mix, uh, Champion, I use Champion from Vercella Laga, any one of those type of feeds, 80% barley, 20% breeder conditioner, breeder mix, European mix, whatever you want to call it. That's your mix. The birds eat that six days a week. Now, the other secret is you must feed them only once per day. If you're feeding your pigeons twice a day, you're overfeeding the pigeons. So keep in mind, um, the birds tend to train us. So you go in to feed them, they act like they're starving, you feed them. You know, eight hours later, you go in to feed them, they act like they're starving, you feed them. Once a day, I feed my birds in the morning, usually nine to 10 o'clock. It doesn't really matter. You know, if you can feed them at nine to 10 o'clock one day and it's three o'clock the next, they work around my schedule. I don't work around their schedule. I don't keep my pigeons on a strict schedule. So all week long, they eat this say 80% barley mix. Um, what I tend to use is the Vercella Laga D-Pure. I think it's the best mix on the market for racing. It's just the depurative mix. Now, most people would use that in the beginning of the week and then feed heavy the end of the week. But again, it's not necessary. You want to feed the barley for short distance racing six days per week. Now, keep in mind, pigeons with perfect body weight can fly the race course at maybe half mile an hour faster um, which could lead to a three minute lead over the course of the race, to race course. The heavier pigeons, the pigeons with a carrying a little more body weight tend to fall back. The front flies that can maintain the pace fly and the lesser pigeons, the heavier pigeons tend to fall back. And the front group gets smaller and smaller as the race goes on. So it might be a matter of two or three minutes, which could be two or three miles, but it'll make a big, big difference. Um, once you master the feeding, once you experiment with this and see what it's like to ship light, buoyant, corky, feathers on a little bit of meat, not, not round, no, no weight, those pigeons dominate. It's an amazing. You'll see the results, they'll pour in. Even in headwinds, short distance races, headwinds, they fly like crazy. Pigeons only need a little tiny bit of body fat to fly for, for hours. They don't need to be stuffed like a goose. They're not flying south in the winter. It's a quick flight. They're out, they fly, they're home, they wanna maintain a pace. Go for it. You'll be really interested. I mean, you'll be thrilled to see the results. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Occasionally, you'll have a week of rain. It's like you're in the middle of the race season, it's raining, it's nasty. You can't exercise, they can't train, they're locked in day after day. On those days, you feed 100% barley, nothing else. You feed barley day after day after day until you can exercise again. If you feed two days, two days in a row of a heavy, rich mix when the birds are sitting around, they're gonna to be too heavy. I'm a strict, strict believer in body weight. I, everything I do is about pigeons and their body weight. Again, you have to experiment, you have to see it, but the fancy is I've helped from Belgium to Philippines, all over the world, feeding my system have had phenomenal results. Again, you don't wanna feed like your grandfather fed. You wanna feed where you can dominate your competition. And believe me, if there's people dominating, they're feeding more like I feed. And again, if you feed like I feed, you don't have to put in a lot of work. I have limited time, I want major success. So that combination is the way to go. In this part of the video, I will show you my feed. Uh, the first feed is the Vercella Laga D-Pure. This is what I feed predominantly for six days a week. Occasionally, I'll add some barley to it. Most of the time, due to ease, this is what my pigeons eat one feeding a day, except on shipping day. I, on shipping day, I break the normal ration into two feedings. I feed them early, maybe 8 a.m., and then I feed them about noontime, 1 p.m., so maybe they'll take a drink. But they get the same amount of feed as every other day. It's just broken up into two feedings. 
Now on Saturday, I mix Vercella Laga Champion, Vercella Laga Energy, and Vercella Laga Sneaky Mix. I'm gonna show the, th the grains here in the pictures. You can see what they look like. I mix equal parts and the birds eat whatever they want. I want them to recover. I want them to eat this feed. And they only get to eat this feed after the race till the evening. And that evening I pull it out, I clean the loft, I clean the floor. The next day they're back on the barley mix until the following Saturday race day. Your results will be fabulous. You won't even believe what happens with the pigeons. Uh, they'll be pouring in, they'll be ahead of the group. And uh, believe me, your competitors will have to change. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe. Also, um, hit the like button. They say it helps me get promoted around YouTube. The other thing what I'd like you to see is what I do with my natural health program as a video on my natural health, what I do day by day combined with my feeding that leads to uh, major results with limited time, good pigeons, healthy, fed right, perfect body weight, and they win. This is Frank McLaughlin, McLaughlin Lofts. Thank you.